comrades, this is Chatty here, and as you guys can tell by the title, inside today's video, I'm going to be doing my review of Silent Night, so let's get right into it. Before I get into my actual review though, guys, a couple months back, I actually did an everything you need to know before you see this film, and I would definitely recommend checking out that video after you watch this video, and let's begin with my review. So some of the reviews of this film are IMDb get a 5.2 out of 10, and Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 64 out of 100. The director of the film is Stephen C. Miller, and he actually directed a film, Marooders, which I also did a review of back during the summer, and I definitely recommend checking that out after you watch this video. No, I could not find the budget for the film, sorry about that, but in box office, this film made $114,000. I surprisingly really enjoyed this film, which kind of surprised me, like I said, because going into this film, I was just expecting this to be a low-budget, bad slasher film, but after I watched it, I overall really enjoyed the film, like I said. I think easily this is the best Silent Night, Deadly Night film. Film. It easily has the coolest killer. The killer is probably one of the best parts about this film. I think this is the perfect remake. It managed to be its own film while still paying proper homage to the original, and I think that's what remakes should really do, and that's what a lot of these slasher remakes are lacking, and I thought the performances inside this film were really good overall. I actually thought Malcolm McDowell wasn't that great inside this role. I think he was pretty good inside Rob Zombie's Halloweens, but to me, his role inside this film just seems very over the top, and it just doesn't work. And I do, like I said, I overall really enjoyed this film, but I do have some minor problems with it. They're not too big. They didn't really affect my review of it whatsoever, but they are kind of problems that I wanted to mention inside my review. So first off, at some points, I feel like this film was trying to be something that really wasn't. I feel like it was trying to be this confusing mystery, trying to find out who this killer was, whenever in reality all it needed to be was a slasher film. So do feel like some scenes did drag on for too long, and the film did go a little bit over the top whenever it came to nudity. Like, there's like a whole like three minutes of nudity, and that just doesn't really need to be inside of a slasher film, but other than those minor things that I didn't love about the film, I overall really enjoyed this film. It isn't perfect, it isn't the best slasher film, but I thought it was one of the better remakes, like I said, out of this time where there were a lot of horror remakes happening from the time of like 2007 to like 2013, and this is easily probably one of the best horror remakes that happened around this time period, and I overall really enjoyed this film. Like I said, this is easily the best Silent Night, Deadly Night film, and I would definitely recommend watching this if you haven't seen it, and if you are a fan of the Silent Night, Deadly Night films, and I overall really enjoyed this, like I said, and I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 10. That's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button to become a karma today. Drop a like on this video and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. Make sure you guys go check out my previous videos, and I will be back again later today with a brand new video, so stay tuned for that. This is Chetty signing off. Peace out. <laughs>